celebrate Christmas in one way or another, according to the Pew Research Center. The holiday began in the 4th century when church officials chose to honor the birth of Jesus. But several customs we've come to associate with modern-day Christmas actually evolved from ancient pagan traditions celebrating the winter solstice. Historian Kenneth C. Davis is the best-selling author of the Don't Know Much About series, which we love. Welcome back to the table. Merry Christmas to Merry you. Merry Christmas to you. It's always a pleasure to be here. So this is something I've always been fascinated by because the Bible never talks about the date of Christ's birth, yet we celebrate December 25th. Why? Well, primarily because in ancient Rome, there was a feast called Saturnalia that celebrated the solstice. What is the solstice? It's the day that the sun starts coming back. The days start getting longer. And most of the traditions that we have that relate to Christmas relate to the solstice, which was celebrated in ancient Rome on December 25th. So when Christianity became the official religion, in a sense, in Rome, they were able to fix this date, which some scholars say may be earlier than that. There's a little discrepancy about it, but there's no question that the fact that it was celebrated in Rome as an important day with gift giving, candle lighting, and singing, and decorating houses really cemented Christmas as December 25th. You always say you don't know much according to your books, but do you know why we have a Christmas tree as opposed to a bunch of hydrangeas? Well, the, really pretty. this is another Puffy and pretty. This is another <laughs> How about pagan, that, Ken? This is another pagan tradition, so Christmas is really about bringing out your inner pagan. The Christmas <laughs> tree really comes to <laughs> Who knew we which, had an inner pagan? <laughs> yes, yeah. Which of the wise men said that? Yeah. I can't remember. <laughs> well, it's like Halloween and a lot of other things we do. These all predate Christianity, uh -huh. but in the North world, Germany, uh, the, uh, the Scandinavian countries, where winter was re really serious and the solstice was really an important idea. They celebrated the return of life by celebrating an evergreen tree. When Christianity came in, they started to use the evergreen tree, the pagan symbol, as a symbol of the tree of paradise. Like and they started to hang an apple on it. So little red balls oh. on green trees. Oh, that's getting the ornaments. The picture here. That's where the idea that's for right. ornaments So all of these things really celebrate the idea that light and life are coming back into the world, which is essentially what Christmas means to Christians well, uh, across the world. Right. And mistletoe? Mistletoe, we can thank the Druids for that. The Druids believed that mistletoe was an all-powerful healing item. It hung from the sacred oak. In fact, if you met somebody in the forest, you gave them the sign of peace under the mistletoe. So people started to hang mistletoe above their doorways as a symbol of peace. This was such a powerful symbol of paganism yeah. that English churches actually banned the use of it. And in fact, the real war on Christmas in America begins with the Puritans in around 1659. They knew all of these things, the date, the traditions were pagan ideas. The Puritans banned Christmas for about 20 years in America before the, the celebration became just too popular. You'll be glad to know all of your answers today were correct. <laughs> <laughs> you know a lot. You know a lot, Kenneth C. Davis. Our fact checker you. over here. <laughs> yes. Merry so Christmas to you, Kenneth and I, This does not take away. We're not the Grinch spoiling it here. It still has all the meaning that it has, but uh, we can celebrate it and understand where these things come from. Good day to you with your favorite grandchildren. I look forward.